righty, ladies and gentlemen. So some of that wrestling news came out last night there. Some more stars have left TNA. <laughs> TNA, Doug. Losing more wrestlers, but it's okay, man. They got Drew Galloway. Big star. <laughs> Drew Galloway, Tommy. You gotta take the business to the top, son. You gotta save wrestling. Drew Galloway, dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, Bobby, Roo, and Eric Young are both gone from TNA. Um, there was rumors that they were leaving after their their tapings when they record 50 bad shows all at once there. Um, after doing those tapings, they were granted their release by the company. TNA made the announcement, it's official, they're both gone. Um, you know, Bobby Roode was one of the best wrestlers that TNA had left, you know. Um, a lot of TNA fans were saying that Bobby was the best wrestler today, which is... You know, bullshit there, <laughs> but according to lots of TNA fans, he was the best, and now he's gone. Big Bob is gone. Um, Eric Young was another guy that was used a lot in TNA and main events and stuff like this. He was a former champ. The champs would have main events against Eric Young, stuff like this, and Eric Young is gone. So two of their biggest stars gone. Two of the best wrestlers that TNA had are both gone. And, you know, it's, it's a slow death for TNA. The company doesn't want to admit it. The fans are in denial there. Oh, we have EC3. We have Matt Hardy there. He's like 300 pounds now. He's boring as fuck. But, uh... Yeah, in reality, they're losing all of their top wrestlers. Everybody's getting the fuck out of there, but they still have Rockstar Spud, boy. Oh, shit, Rockstar Spud. I have a lot of these TNA nut jobs, the fanboys. They come at me, they're all Rockstar Spud. <laughs> Better than everybody in WWE, shit like this. It's like... The fuck's wrong with these lunatics? It's obvious that the company is going down. You know, the company fucking sucks. They can't pay the wrestlers anymore. That's why they're getting the fuck out. The wrestlers are there. They're backstage. And they're all getting the fuck out. So obviously there's a problem. If the company <laughs> was doing well then the wrestlers wouldn't be walking out like this. You know, every week you hear of the big star that's leaving. They still have Jeff Hardy, but they're not using him. And Jeff Hardy isn't what he used to be, especially not in TNA. If he would go back to WWE, I'm sure McMahon could, like, revive him and make him look better than fucking TNA does. In TNA, he just walks out with his eyes closed, with his dumbass makeup, just ramming into shit on his way to the ring there. I <laughs> don't know what the fuck's up with that shit, but... Will Bobby Roode and Eric Young end up in NXT? I hope so. Bobby's a bit old there, but... I'm sure they can still do some stuff with them. And TNA fanboys are going to cry. You don't like him in, in TNA, but you got to like him in NXT, you motherfuckers. That's because WWE does good stuff with the wrestlers. You know what I'm saying? They make them do better promos. They present them better, better music, better storylines. Everybody in TNA ends up looking like shit because it's, 
It's bad management. They don't know what to do with the wrestlers. But when the wrestlers show up on NXT or on Raw, they look like real stars, like Samoa Joe, for example. He looks cool on NXT. But in TNA, they made him fucking dress up like a clown. They didn't make him look good. The fans wanted him to become the champ. He won the belt. They made him lose to Kevin Nash or something. He got his ass whooped. He got buried by Kevin Nash. After years of trying to become champ, the, the fans were behind this. And they just ruined Joe, you know what I'm saying? But then when Joe shows up in NXT, they make him look better, just like they did with Sting. You have a guy like Sting that's a big star. They make him act like the Joker and shit like this. They make him look cheap, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hopefully Eric Young and Bobby Roode are going to end up in the real federation in the big time so that they can become relevant and you know WWE can actually use them properly and shit so yeah TNA fucking sucks and um, I hope that one day Jeff Hardy leaves and goes back to WWE and TNA won't have fuck all left boy just EC3 and Rockstar Spud Wrestling in Dixie's garage there in front of three, four hillbillies and ten people online, dog. The future of TNA with Drew Galloway naked in the ring and fanboys are going to jack off. There are the five, six fans that are going to be remaining there. TNA sucks, dog. TNA fucking sucks. Until next time, peace.